Welcome back, everyone. 810 right now. This is day two of in-person learning in Anderson School District 5, and teachers say that everything is running smoothly. Let's check in now with 7 News' Christine Scarpelli. She is live in Anderson. She has been there all morning long at Glenview Middle School, so I know you've been spying on those kids. Is everything going smoothly? <laughs> yes, certainly. We've been in the bushes looking into the windows per usual, right? No, no, not at all. We haven't needed to. The principals out here were having a ball learning all about what District 5 looks like as they head back to school. So in person five days a week, we are very excited to have the Davis family with us this morning. So thanks, Sunny and Rush. Glad to have you guys out here. Thank you. Now, Mom, I know school's going to look a little different this year. How, what were you thinking of maybe going into yesterday, the first day, what were you thinking about? What it might look like? Uh, we were just real excited that District 5 decided to do the five day option and do the virtual option also. We chose as for our boys to do the five day in person and we thought it went very well. Very good. Yeah. Um, the masks, the distancing, the desks in different places, any feedback rush? How did it go? Um, I didn't think it was as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not as bad as you thought, okay. I still got to like see my friends instead of them being all the way across the room, yeah. so I can't really see them. Now, Mom, that's important to you. You said the social aspect, even what, for boys? Yes, boys don't interact at home with, you know, as much as girls do. So I was very pleased to get them both back in school yeah. with their friends and Absolutely. Now virtual. I think this is really neat. You guys have had a little experience with virtual in the past. What was it on weather days? We right? did. Uh, we did e-learning. Um, I think District 5 piloted the program a couple years ago. Um, and if we had a weather delay or a weather day, a snow day, they would go to e-learning and not have to make the day up. Nice. So we were kind of familiar with it ahead of time. And my boys did great with it. Um, it was not something I would want to continue doing, but Mostly because you had such a great experience in school, right? Yes. So, so you want that for them, yes. for sure. Going into the next weeks, anything you're looking forward to? Just a routine, um, you know, just keep everybody he healthy and safe and the teachers stay positive and kids stay positive and have a great year. Gosh, I can't see that going downhill. These teachers, we yeah. just spoke with the teacher of the year. You'll hear from her a little later. The principal doing jumping jacks out here. He's so excited to have the students back. Listen, very close to that. He was. He's so glad after six months back, five days a week in person, guys. Anderson School District 5. We'll have plenty more a little bit later on 7 News at noon. You're going to meet again the Teacher of the Year. So that's going to be cool All to right. hear a little bit about that side of things, guys. Yeah, that'd be nice. You. That'd be nice for sure. I love the enthusiasm. All right. Thanks so much, Christine. Coming up on Carolina Morning, we're going to tell you how police officers in one upstate city are feeling the ripple effect of COVID-19.